guys, happy Friday. It's about five o'clock. This is what my face looks like with makeup. Do you guys remember? No, you probably don't because it's been a minute. I'm feeling a little self-conscious if I'm honest because like, what? I feel like I can feel it. Like I can almost hear it and feel it. It's very weird, you guys. I'm weird. We've established this already. Okay, so the reason that I look like I'm wearing 97 pounds of makeup is because it's date night. Parker made reservations and a plan. So he's like, reservations are at this place at this time. And then after we're gonna go here. And I'm like, I don't have to decide. That is like the best part of date night. So it has been one of those days where I have been like nonstop Speedy Gonzalez since we woke up. Good. There's my date. Don't, don't be, don't be doing a little shifty butt movements, <laughs> sir. Um, Micro <laughs> with your butt cheeks. <laughs> so nonstop. I mean, from the minute Parker and I woke up, he went to work. And I just haven't stopped. I edited a vlog for tomorrow. I packed some orders. I organized some things in my studio. Uh, I did all the links. Answered my Etsy messages, which I'm so sorry. There are some that I fell behind on and I'm so embarrassed. Uh, painted my nails. Look at how pretty. So this is from the, do you guys remember last week I showed you the Ella and Mia 10 year anniversary set? It looks like this, sort of. And we are trying pink sapphire. So it has sort of like a shift. Do you see how pretty that is? It has sort of like a mic, like a blue mica in there that gives it a nice shift in the sun. And then we figured out what this was. Do you guys remember? I was like, oh, I don't know if it's a top coat or a base coat. I don't know what it is. It's cuticle oil and it smells like vanilla. You see the little stars? So it's like a celebration cuticle oil and it's really nice because it's not a very heavy, thick oil. It's almost runny. So you just need to do the tiniest little drop and then you can go about your business. Do you hear that? It's like a massive emergency. Emergency avoided. Okay, so here are the plans this weekend. Tonight is date night. Tomorrow, we are having lunch with the boy's grandparents for his birthday, and he wants to do hibachi. Why do my children want to go to smelly restaurants for their birthdays? Hibachi? Hibachi is where they like smoke out in front of you, right? Like choo-choo, shrimp in the hat, and they throw an egg at you and stuff. That's yeah, pretty cheesy. Yes. <laughs> So Daniel wants to do hibachi. Do you guys remember Mateo did Korean barbecue? Oh, so I'm going to need to bathe twice tomorrow, which is just we should take our own tortillas. the worst tor tortilla to the hibachi. Yeah, throw them on the hibachi while it's cooking. Oh, like make tacos? Yeah. Tacos. So we're going to do that. And then Sunday's Easter. We just have the boys on Easter. So I just did little baskets for them. Actually, let me show you. They were taking up way too much room in my studio, so I just dropped them out here. But look at how cute these are. He's a hamburger. He's a little hamburger. Yes, he is. It's a little hamburger chick. And then we have like a little chick candy thing. And then we have little happy chicks gummies. And then we, oh, it is a happy chick. It is a happy chick. Yes, it is a happy chick. Hello, baby girl. I love you. You want to say hi to your friends. That's so nice of you. Oh, see, so you're getting nicer with your old age. That's wonderful. That is wonderful. I love you, pretty girl. Okay, then we have a bunny. And the bunny is a hot dog, but he looks kind of like a taco. You know, like I could totally lie to one of my kids and tell, it, tell him it's a taco. So that's the bunny. And then we got the bunny, and then we got the bunny. So it's sort of like we got a chick basket and a bunny basket. Cute, right? All right, you wanna see how cute it is. Yeah? Oh, yeah? Oh, okay. Not as cute as you. I'm gonna put you in a basket and then I'm gonna give you to your papa. Yes. I'm gonna put you in a sweater and a bow and a diaper and I'm gonna put you in a basket. You wanna do that? Listen, do you hear the fire trucks? 
Oh, do you hear the fire trucks, Parker? I do. I'm pretty excited. Very excited, but like sad at the same time and worried, but excited. I already put Rander's Easter non-basket basket in her room upstairs, so I can't show you that one because I'm too tired to go upstairs. These pants are too tight. I've owned them for longer than Mateo's been alive, so I don't even think I'll do an outfit of the day because, oh fine, I'll do an outfit of the day. Okay, just because I love you and my hair is really bothering me. What's going on? Uh-oh, I can't even hear it. Are you banging it? Okay, outfit of the day. My sweater was clearance at Walmart. I think I got it for like eight, maybe $10. I wanna say it was like eight bucks because I was pretty impressed. And it has like the little, Pika, like peekaboo sexy action because it's date night. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's all we got. That's all, that's all we got is shoulder today. That's it. Sorry, guys, because there's nothing another awful. Nope. Nothing. See? Boop. Nothing. But these jeans, love these jeans. They're like wide leg denim and they're back in style. See, this is the beauty about hoarding your clothes is these are, I would say, 20-year-old jeans. They were in fashion back in the day, and now they're back in fashion, and I can wear them again. Yup. Isn't that nice? I love that. And I'm wearing one of my favorite boots ever. Let me show you. Hold on. Do you see that? A little fringe action. No? Hold on. Here we go. Little fringe. I used to have these in... Are any of you guys compulsive scratchers when you're super stressed? No? Okay, then don't look. So... These are my favorite, favorite, favorite ankle booties. I used to have them in black too, but I put them on my Poshmark a while ago. So whoever has them, don't you love them? But that's it. That's the update. Hibachi tomorrow, Easter on Sunday. No plans for Easter, by the way. Just probably mass and, and that's it. But no, nothing exciting. Our reservations are for six, but I was telling Parker, I'm like, I'm kind of hungry. And we don't do anything at 6. We usually have dinner at 4.30. So what if we just leave early? And if they can seat us, great. And if they can't, then we're just going to have to sacrifice ourselves by sitting at the bar like strangers meeting for the very first time. Very comfortably. But anyway, that's it. I'll see you later. Happy Saturday. It's 8 p.m. Oh, bad decisions were made last night. <laughs> I was so excited that we were out on date night and it was like an actual date, like fancy dinner. We went to a restaurant that had a speakeasy like behind a bookcase. Like Parker did his homework. And I don't know 
who was out with him last night that thought she was a 21 year old that could handle being out late, live music, a light meal, and way too many cocktails. I'm not that person anymore. You know, like, I need to know better, but I, I didn't. So it was, it was rough. It's been rough. It's been a rough day. So today was Daniel's birthday lunch and he wanted to go to a hibachi place. And we all did our due diligence and wanted to be there when the restaurant opened. We were there at 11 because that's what the website says. That's what they say when you call, but they don't actually open till 12. So grandparents and dad went to like Five Below and uh, PetSmart. And I was like, oh, hey, Parker. So since we are across the street from a Hobby Lobby, I have yet to go to a Hobby Lobby to buy any supplies for my little Etsy business. I do a lot of Amazoning. I do a lot of Ebaying. I do a lot of Michaels for sure. But I haven't done the Hobby Lobby. And you guys, side note, I was terrified this morning because despite my inebriated state last night, I washed my makeup off because that's what you're supposed to do. See what I mean? Like, I don't forget that I'm a rational, responsible adult, but yet I still make bad decisions. <laughs> so I washed my face last night and I kept waking up and my eyes were like sealed shut, like crusted shut. So it was super weird. And I woke up and I told Parker, I was like, I have double pink eye. I'm sure of it. I have double pink eye. I think I just didn't rinse my face properly. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> so I haven't shopped at Hobby Lobby for anything and we needed to kill an hour. So I'm going to show you what I found, but I don't know. I don't want to get up. I'm sitting in bed and I don't want to get up so that I can show you. Is this a, is this a good view? You don't see my stupid hair. Like, what, what was I thinking? It's like hibachi hair, you know? So, we went to Hobby Lobby. And look at this cuteness. I think I got two of these. Did I get two of these? No, I didn't. Okay, I got one of these. Look how cute they are. So pretty. I love these little teddy bears. And I thought they, were, uh, they would be good for even like the uh, pet tags. Maybe for the keychains. I guess whatever you guys want. I mean, it's a charm, right? And the hardware is silver. And because the hardware is silver on those, I found these, and I did get two of these, because the hardware is gold. I haven't seen gummy bears with gold hardware, so I thought those were super cute. The color of the gummy bears isn't as cute as, like, the clear ones. I mean, I don't think. It's like a softer pastel, and they're a little, like, milky or cloudy. Um, and then these. Tell me they don't look delicious. Like they're actually edible. Oh, there's my man. Where is he? On my way home. And on my way home, hopefully nothing else happens. Poor guy. I told you guys. Uh, one of you left a comment and was like, oh my god, Danny, I'm so relieved I got to see a, a cameo of Parker. And I haven't been showing him in the vlog very often because... He's usually in his work clothes, which has like his badge number and stuff like that. And it's just, he's, he's not supposed to, or he's like really tired because he worked from like 1 AM to 4 PM or whatever. So, so I don't want to shove the camera in his face. It just feels gross. Right? So when he was in the vlog uh, that I posted today, uh, the comment was like, Oh my God, I'm so relieved. I was like, well, where did you think he was? <laughs> I just don't want to, um, exploit him at the moment that he's working so hard but right now it's 8 p.m and he's out on call he's been out since like maybe five and he's on his way home unless someone else dies so anyway how delicious do these look right don't they look like actual hard candies so pretty they're pretty big but i thought they might be cute for uh the keychains so like on the keychains that you guys order, like a double tied keychain or whatever, I could put it on there instead of like little charms. And then get a load of these cuties. I thought these, this is how my mind works. These would be cute for maybe a pet tag on a keychain, or I could also stick it to pop sockets, like to the Decadin looking ones, the ones that look like cake frosting. I could stick those in there because look how little they are. Like, this is my pinky. 
Aren't those adorable? Stuff like this with like little, like the little stick are good to like stick into that frosting looking silicone and it like stays on there really good. Although I think they do sell these without the hardware. So like ideally you would wanna use these as charms cause they already have the hardware like in it. But they also sell these lollipops without any hardware sticking out of it. So you could actually like nest it instead of just hang it like a charm. Speaking of the pop sockets that you guys have been loving, I found these. These are called flatbacks or cabuchons. I think cab cabuchons. They're basically hard charms that you can glue to like a fidget base, fidget, gibbet, gibbet base for like Crocs, or you can put it on a phone case like this. So all of these are cabuchons or flatbacks so that they can sit in the like frosting really well. And so I saw these and I thought they were super cute. Look at that, they're like clouds and rainbows. And these are so adorable. They're like happy face flowers. Really excited about these. And then we got some split ring opening pliers. I have some already, but they're pretty thick. Like the tip is pretty thick and I struggle with the really small split rings. So I thought this might be a better option, but now that I look at it, I think it's almost the same thickness as the other ones that I have. I'm talking about this part right here. That part needs to be super, almost like needle thin so that I can really like get into the really small split rings. And then the last two things I got are more clay slices, but these are two varieties that I don't have. <gasps> look at these. Look at these. Aren't those adorable? They're like happy faces. And these aren't clay. These are like sequins. These are clay. But these are flowers. I thought I could add to my collection of flowers because I'm running low. You guys love those flower clay slices. And I'm running low. And I noticed this little set has... A lot of the ones I already have, but there's a couple of colors in here that I don't have that I'm very excited about. So, but those are really pretty. But these, look at those. These would be great to just mix into clear resin and just like oversaturate a tag. So instead of doing glitter or clay slices, just clear resin with a ton of this. And that would be the whole like body of the pet tag. And obviously like the name and beads, but I thought that would look so cute, right? So that's my mini Hobby Lobby haul. Hobby Lobby haul. I'm like, oh, am I saying that right? Hobby Lobby haul. Yes, I am saying that right. Oh my God, you guys, I am dying. I did want to show you guys something too. It's kind of cool because if you guys ordered from my shop, like, from the beginning of what was it like in January until now there's going to be some things that I'm like changing now that I feel a little more confident in what I'm doing. Uh, I've learned some more tricks and stuff. I want it to be a little more professional. So I had some labels printed instead of me doing them myself. You guys, it was taking me so much time, like so much time to do this kind of stuff, like packaging stuff. It's nice to know how to do it and it's nice to have done it for so cheap and do it myself it's very empowering but then you get to a point where you're like okay i have to uh what's the word like hand this off and have someone else take care of that for me so i got these little labels for the packaging and then i had cards printed instead of me having to print a whole sheet slice them and then round the cor corners i actually had these printed and I added that little, please review if you loved your stuff at the bottom. So I'm, I don't know. It's kind of, maybe it's like a little, a little bit of a proud brag. Like I'm feeling proud of myself right now. So I want to share with my friends, you know? Um, oh, and then these, I made these so that I can put them in the bag. It's just a sticker. And these are vinyl stickers. So you could add it to like your Stanley cup or your simple, simple, modern, simply modern, simple, modern. I have a, I have a simple, modern, simply modern. You know, the Amazon brand, that's like a Stanley brand, but it's the Amazon brand. So I'll throw that in the packaging. So you'll get a sticker and you can put it on, I don't know, your water bottle or your coffee tumbler or something or your cell phone case. 
And then the last thing I'm gonna show you guys is a lot of you have asked, okay, I love that concept of the phone grip that looks like cake. Do you remember what I'm talking about? The ones that completely sold out? I love that concept, but does it have to be Sanrio? No, actually it doesn't. And so I'm gonna show you what I have that is Sanrio and what is not Sanrio. So what I'm thinking about doing, and I think it'll be easier this way, is just to make a few. I'll make a bunch of the Sanrio ones seeing how well you guys love them. So I'll make a bunch of those and list them, but I think I'll make just a couple, maybe like four or five non-Sanrio ones and see how those do and then get your feedback on them. But let me show you. Okay, so here's my little storage box and this is where I have just the Sanrio ones. And I have them sorted pretty much by either color or character. And some of them you can tell are actually beads. But once you put them in the like frosting looking stuff, it hides. A lot of these, like the way that I find my supplies is by buying like croc charms. Do you see how I removed the, the back of the croc charm? Because you don't even see the back. And then that's what I use for, for the phone grip. So there's like pretty much all the characters. I can't find much Kuropi anything. So I actually had to order some internationally. So those will be a minute before they get here. But I, but I did order some. It's just, I don't know, man. Either he's too popular or he's not popular at all. And then I have this box that is non-Sanrio stuff and it's divided by color. And so like there's really cute ones in here, like little teddy bears. We have moon, lollipop, like pretty much anything you can think of that's cute, right? So there's not going to be like a cowboy boot in here or just really cute stuff. Little, little lollipop. How cute is that? Obviously, it's too big for like a phone grip, but for phone cases, they're a really good size. And these are really good filler charms too for like if you wanted to do just one main character and then do filler charms of other stuff. But yeah, there's a lot of other options that aren't necessarily Sanrio, but I think mostly I would say candy. Like it's, oh, here you can see a pop, um, croc one. I haven't removed the back, but mostly I would say candy, but definitely all cute. Everything is cute. Very cute, very sparkly. I think she's blowing a bubble. Yeah, blowing a bubble. Oh, here's a little Mickey. It's kind of random. <laughs> so cute. Look at this one. It's like a popsicle, a little, a little bear popsicle. So yeah, we have those and then these are some little accent clay charms, I guess you could call them. They're soft, they're clay. And so I love these because I can cut them to size and use them several times. Look at this one. It looks like an actual sugared gummy. But yeah, I mean, it's one of those things where, oh, here are some filler charms. So like when you do, oh, I wish I had one of them to show you, but when you do, actually, it may be my phone case. So when you do stuff like this, you're obviously going to have like the main characters of the show, right? So you have like the little Pachacos, but you also want filler gems or sprinkles or whatever. So like here I have a bow. There are these tiny little charms and there's these little glitter sparkles. Can you see the, the little stars that are kind of nested in there? So it's nice to have simple or more, I guess generic would be a right word generic uh, flat backs or rhinestones that you can kind of put as filler on, on like the pop socket or the phone case or whatever. These are really pretty. But yeah, it's like the possibilities are really endless. Anything you can come up with is like, it's possible. So yeah, I'm very excited. You guys have responded very great, very excited and very supportive to my newest endeavor. And it's just so exciting and also motivating and gives me something to look forward to and a new outlet, like ex expression outlet that, that it's just almost indescribable, I guess I could say. Plus it doesn't help that I'm extremely hungover right now and can't really think. And I need you guys to help me vote on this because I have been looking for a giant 
bottle of rose gold glitter. And the closest that I've come is this. But to me, this looks pink, right? Is that rose gold enough or is that pink? Because I have ordered three different bottles and they all are a version of pink, not rose gold. And so I have a glitter that is a true rose gold and I can't find anything like that again. And it's annoying because, wait, can you see me? <laughs> it's annoying because rose gold is like rose gold. You know what I mean? Like rose gold looks like rose gold. There is no doubt. Here we go. To me, that's rose gold, right? I'm trying to get the light so that you can see. So to me, that looks like rose gold, not this. Let me show you guys actually with some light. Okay, so, right? Does it look similar? Maybe I'm just being very picky. Obviously this one's holographic, this one's not, it's just a metallic. But this to me is rose gold, this is, isn't. But now that I see them side by side, they're actually pretty similar. Maybe it's the holographic part that's throwing me off, but this is the closest I've gotten to rose gold. So y'all will have to let me know if that's rose gold enough, then I'm just gonna keep this jar instead of trying to order another one. Because it does, now that I see them side by side, I'm like, well, it's passable, right? All right, you guys, that is it for today, Saturday. I am going to finish dying in my bedroom and wait for my handsome husband to get home. And then hopefully for tomorrow's Easter bunny visit, I am not dying anymore. But hibachi was really fun. <laughs> I love you.